Smashers, the technical mod pack that is all about exploring the solar system, but first, but first, I think I need to get my ore processing on, and I know what you guys are thinking, you're like, Twitchy, wait, didn't you do that at the end of last episode? And kind of, kind of I did. If we have a look over here, let's let's get ourselves a little bit of gold. This seems seems like a good plan. We'll uh, throw it in the macerator, and I will take... Are we going to put a whole bit of coal in? I think we're going to put an entire bit of coal in there. Hopefully this will store up in the battery there. But it... Uh, takes my gold ore and it processes it down into this stuff. Oh no, that's the power line. <laughs> I thought I thought that was this and this was that. But there we go. That's a thing. Okay, so we come through and we get this two bits of crushed gold, which sound amazing. Doesn't it just sound amazing? You can cook these up uh, into individual bits of gold, but if we press U, you can see that we've got this thing down the end here. Not just the centrifuge, no. This ore washing plant. It, we can t put in some crushed gold and we can get ourselves some purified gold, some small gold dust and some dust of stone and that that sounds like a beautiful way to do things here now having a look inside we need a bunch of iron plates some buckets a resource machine uh, these coils these crafting coils motors and a circuit board now plates and buckets I just happen to have an absolute buttload of in here well no, not an absolute buttload of but I have enough now this resource plate here we just need to make a bunch of iron plates and I think we can do that over here let's have a look I've got a whole bunch of stuff uh, somewhere somewhere I have this crushed iron now th this is this is what put me onto it is that I really 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 want to cook my iron up I have just noticed that I don't actually have an electric furnace in here wow that's that is something we're also gonna have to address uh, Dress. All right, so we go with the iron block into the press, pl the pressing machine, the plate presser. That's what I'm going for. We get ourselves a whole a bunch of these iron plates. We go around the outside, and that should give us one of these uh, resource machines. That is what we're after there. That is a beautiful. We'll pop that in there. Now, the next thing we need to make, if we have a look here, are these electric motors. And to do that, we know how to make the tin casings. We know how to make an iron ingot. But these, these are new here. We need to make ourselves a whole bunch of a copper cable. Thankfully, just over here, you can see that I've got a bunch of copper being made. I need to cook it up and then we're going to use the tin snips. Uh, they're actually wire cutters, not tin snips. But anyway, we take the block of iron, we put it into the plate pressure. We take one of these plates here. I'm not sure if we're going to want more, but we'll take one for now and we get two bits like that. So actually, yeah, we did indeed want to destroy the entirety of that. And am I going to have to make two of these? I think I might. Let's grab one of these, pop that in the middle. Maybe if we're lucky, this will give us two. No, no, we need. Okay, so we need to do that again. And that there gives us the two copper, co copper coils. But that that's not what we're doing here, is it? No, we still need a tin ingot. Uh, so we still need tin plates and iron ingots. Now, do we have tin plate in here? I've got a little bit of tin in here, man. It turns out the uh, the ore processing, the longest part of this, which is kind of makes sense if you think about it. I, d I don't want these. I want one of this. Thanks. Uh, which definitely makes sense if you think about it. Oh yeah, I've still got this weird bit that won't won't break down into other things. So it's four plus five. I should be able to make, hopefully, another tin block out of this. I'm, I'm putting my hopes on this, if I'm to be honest with you, because that, yeah, I should make another tin block. Okay, so we're going to turn two of these into plates. That should be a pretty good. Uh, and then doing these, we can turn them... Wait, I need the, I need the big one over here, don't I? Uh, we can turn them into actual tin plates down here. Cool. One, two. We're going to need uh, both of those. I'm actually going to need more of this now that I stop and think about it because we're just making one motor. And we need to make two. Ah. But anyway, we've got we've got all the stuff here that I think we need. We're missing a single iron ingot and darkness doth approach. But if I do this and do that, I can show you how to make one of these and I'll be back with another. So now we're very nearly done, but there is one thing missing from the middle, and that one thing is, of course, the electronic circuit. Now, it could go through a whole load of rigmarole making it. It involves finding lapis and putting things together in funny ways, but I think I'm just going to take it straight from this quest there. Yeah, I love that. that. That's a lot easier. A lot easier. So let's take all of this stuff and try and arrange it up here like this. Big da bam That should be it. Right, we've got our ore washing plant. Ooh, hype. So now what I want to do, obviously, is probably try and put some water in it does that work like that that doesn't work like that can i put that in like this yeah okay so that's how we put water and then there's probably probably a way that i can knock out the black the uh, back block and put in some more put in a permanent water feature but if we put that up there uh we're probably gonna need some power of course why would that not be a thing power seems to 
Yeah, power is flowing, power is being used here. I don't see anything moving, no indicator to say that it is going on. Oh, maybe maybe this is it. I see a little bit of blue uh, coming across. Yeah, let's just sit here and watch this, unless, of course, I need to put more power into the generator. That, that might actually be the case there. Oh, wow, so that used up all the water and was actually pretty expensive uh, i'm wondering if there's other things we can do with uh, this stuff here let's uh let's just go into my inventory and just press u on a couple of things so we can put these small gold dust together to make a large gold dust or in fact compress them in the machine what's the point of the compressor if it gives you the same result as this look you put nine together you get a gold dust you put nine together, you get a gold dust. Surely you should get two or be able to use, like, less than nine. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's much that I can do with that other than weight. And this purified gold literally just goes in for the smelting. Can we put it through the centrifuge? Oh, we can put it through the centrifuge, get a gold dust and a small silver out of it. Okay, so I'm guessing this smelts up, as I say, into the single one. Does this also smelt up into the single one? Uh, the grinder will break it. Oh, no, this is how to get it not how to use it okay there we go uh i'm not so interested in the crafting but also at the same time that's a lot of crafting that you can do uh but yes one for one so it is definitely worth making the next bit which is the centrifuge okay but we're not going to do that now no 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 big shaky face the thing that i want to do now right here is get an electric furnace and i'll be honest with you i've not even looked into this so let's uh let's have a look Okay, my first question, what's the difference between an iron furnace and an electric furnace? Obviously, you need the electric furnace to work, uh, sorry, the iron furnace to make an electric furnace, but let's let's just start by making ourselves a good, a solid iron furnace. Now, do I have anything in here I don't? Do I have one of those? I ah, burp, burp. Well, it looks like we get to uh, run some material through the processing plant before we even go anywhere. So I've processed a load of iron up, and I think it is time to come out here. I've got this rather primitive setup over this way. Oh, hello, are you still cooking? All right, good, you've done and cooked through. But I think it's time to get rid of it. This is definitely just, just, just so primitive, so not what this pack is about. So if we go through and just destroy everything here. I also want the furnace. Yes, indeed I do, because I need to make a thing from it. So let's do that. Cool. Wow, there was a lot of stuff in there. The first thing I'm going to do is take my iron plates and pop them up across there. Iron furnace. Now, I am super, super intrigued as to whether I can even place this on its own. Yeah, it does. Okay, what's going on here? I... What? <clears throat> can I do a thing with that? I, I don't know. But what makes this any better or worse than the other furnace? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm actually tempted to uh, see if I can cook something up quickly and see what the range is. I'm not sure if I've got anything to be cooked. Okay, I've been burning a lot of charcoal. Let's make some more charcoal. <laughs> Let's make some more charcoal. Now, you go actually go up there. I'm going to put one of these in here. Uh, now, is that quicker? Is that quick? That might actually be quicker. I don't know. Um, it seems to be burning through a lot slower. I'm going to grab myself... Hey, hey, do you mind? Thank you. I'm going to grab myself a bunch more logs because I've got a feeling I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm, that doesn't appear to be burning through anywhere near as quick. So that's now 16 in there and night time approaches, so I'm going to get me asleep. Okay, so it's nowhere near doubling, but it seems to be like a, a, a definite increase, a definite increase looks like 10 rather than 8 that's that's pretty good i like that maybe i should have known about that from the get-go but we're gonna grab this up and we're gonna try and uh, to turn it into something a little bit more useful now one thing that i forgot to do when i made this wash plant is there anything in there i care about a little bit of water that's fine one thing i forgot to do when i made this wash plant was to come through ah uh, did i need a specific what tool for this sad times so, as I was saying, one of the things I forgot to do when I made the uh, wash plant was to do this. Was to make sure that the quest registered. So let's go into there and grab ourselves. Now, I'm going to grab myself an advanced circuit. Yes, indeed, very much I am. Because, man, those circuits are the worst to be making. There may be the advanced machine. No, I'm going to go with the advanced circuit 
Thank you very much for that. All right, well, now I'm going to put that back and that we'll never speak of the moment that I broke of that again. No, 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 no. So nice awkward bit of that was getting all the copper together to make the circuit. So I'll just quickly run you through the system here. You grab yourself a block of uh, copper as expected, pop it underneath the block and get yourself all the plates. Uh, then I just kind of put it in through the cutters to get myself all the wire. And hopefully I should have a bunch of cooked copper uh, rubber up here. I do. I'm gonna have to cook some more up though to make sure that I do not ever run out. Uh, so then you turn all those into wires and grab yourself a couple of bits of a redstone. Then I believe it's that there, that there, these across and the bottom and top and then a simple iron plate in the middle will make you a uh, uh, a circuit that's looking pretty good here so then if i come over here grab myself another two bits of redstone and hopefully all right so last time when i broke the wash the wash plant it was because i was using a pickaxe um i would like to see if the configurator can even break is that even a thing that can happen no how about if i uh like shift and do it no how about control and do it okay i'm gonna have to find another tool for doing that i think uh but for now we can break the iron furnace with the pickaxe and we'll figure out what tool to use uh this got to be a wrench right there, there's always a wrench in industrial craft but we've got ourselves an industrial furnace uh, not an industrial furnace that's another thing no we've got ourselves an electric furnace this now means that when i put the charcoal in there it should be powering up all these machines around here let's put the uh, the copper in for getting washed up again uh, and yeah that's that's looking good so now when the parts fall out the bottom and this is going to take a little while but now when that happens i can take all the parts and put it into my electric furnace all right hype no need to go outside again Wow, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was, like, literally at the end of an episode. No, we're only halfway through. So let's have a look in the magical chest of uh, doing stuff. You can see, uh, one, that my inventory is just absolutely full of rubbish. We'll try and do something about that at some point. But I think right now, you see I've got all these leathers, glowstones, and stuff like this over here. These are to make some stuff. Yes, if we have a look inside our quest book, we come up here, go to the first steps. Should have done first, like, should have done all these first steps ages ago. Uh, the main problem is... It's hard to find zombies. But over here, we've got a stack of storage. I definitely want to make me a one of those. That sounds like something... No, cooking is what we're going to get onto later. But right now, sac. La sac magique, as the French say. I believe that's like rucksack. I don't know. Anyway, sack of storage. Bang, bang. I love it. I also want to get an empty stack of holding because that just sounds like a great idea. If I remember correctly, oh, yeah, quest. No, more, uh, more carrying space. Uh, we take the stack of holding. We go and right click. No, shift, right click. There we go. Shift and right click. And let's us pick up stuff and put it back down. Oh, that is so, so good. Ooh, okay, so, and, and this I believe to be just another inventory. We open it up, yeah, look, we got all this stuff that we could just kind of like throw on in there. Uh, I'm sure we're going to end up with like a tool sack and a, uh, just, just all sorts of sacks. Just all sorts of sacks. Now, you might have noted that there was other stuff inside here. And yes, indeed, there is more stuff inside here. Because I don't know about you guys, but I think this floor... It's a bit rustic, you know? I mean, I like grass. The grass has got a beautiful texture. I would prefer it if we were in the mushroom, uh, mushroom valleys because that's a beautiful, a beautiful tone of green there. But I'm going to come over here. I've noticed something in the, in the NEI, the JEI, sorry, while searching for various stuff. We've got ourselves a shear block. Look at this. It shears entities upon contact. Yes, that is as cool as you think it is. You put it down in the middle of the uh, sheep pen and you get yourself a bunch of um, sheared wool. And I'm hoping this item collector is the exact item that I'm after. I've been looking for an item collector for a little while for picking up various things going from trees and... Uh, Pete and stuff like that, but uh, Decipher the other day was like, hey, buddy, you should try out the collector. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll give that a go. I will give that a go. All right, if we just put this here, um, do they have to be on top? That's the question. Do they have to be on top? Can we just kind of like push one of these guys at it? Uh, uh, let's go. All right, this is always good. Sheep wrangling, definitely the way forwards. Ah, oh, 
Did you see that, guys? And then he's going to walk into it. Is he going to walk into it? Don't, I don't know if these guys are going to just randomly walk into it. Uh, but I would then also like to put this collector. Let's let's pop it down there. I don't know if that's going to do the work that I want it to do. Uh, does not uh, Always on. Preview, please, if you may. Uh, Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's that's almost exactly. Does 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 it know? Does it know? It appears to be right on the edge of where I actually want it to be. All right, well that's good enough. We're just going to leave this running now, and hopefully we will come back later to find ourselves a beautiful amount of wool. Oh, this you crazy mother! What a time lapse. I love that tune. Makes literally anything interesting, including just building a floor. But it's not just any floor. Well, actually, yeah, it is just any floor. And it's a pretty good looking floor. You can see I've left a little bit of a hole over here so that we can dig down underneath and put a few utilities and whatnot in. Uh, but I'm afraid that for now, I'm going to have to say that is all the time that I've got for you, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where actually... We received a few gifts, so that's the first thing we're going to do. The next thing I'm going to do is put, the, put a little bit of a kitchen in over there. And then we're going to go explore some space. Because I don't want to give anything away. Alright, well, I'll see you then. When am I going to do that? Bye!